Hi guys. I've had this thing sitting around for a while. It's um well I found it in a pile of rubbish and uh it's a CHDD-41 AR four times one HDTV switcher. There's no remote with it, obviously. Um it doesn't matter because well, I think that's an infrared there. On the front. It's got yeah, one, two, three, four power. I don't even know if it works because I've never turned it on. DC five volts. But anyway, as I haven't taken anything apart for a while, I figured I might as well uh, at least take the cover off this. So there we go. From what I can gather, there's two screws on either side. There is some in the front, but I don't think they're holding the main cover on. There's one right there in the middle at the front. Figured why not, might as well have a look inside it. got anything else to uh, open up and fresh out things at the moment. I need to restock. Right. Is there any on the back? No. So, ah, there we go. Oh. Well, that was a bit anticlimactic. Climactic. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not a lot in there at all. There's literally just that circuit board, which um, is raised from the surface. I don't, can't see anything under it. There might be, but I'd have to undo the screws, and then I've got to undo two, four, six, eight, ten screws in the back. 14 screws all together because there's four holding the board down. Well, you don't see that very often. Chip in a um, socket. Tell you what, let's just let's take it apart. Let's go for it, shall we? Is that a plug in cable or is that. Oh no, that is plugged in. Good. This is uh, going to be fun. Why they've got to have this many screws, I don't know. Oh, actually, yeah, I do. It's because you've got to push cables in, so it just um, prevents the connectors, I suppose, being um, pushed loose and breaking the solder connections on the board. I suppose that does make sense. I think for jobs like this I should get a uh, actual cordless screwdriver. Mind you, it's a good, good exercise for your wrist. Although this is hurting my wrist because uh, plastic likes to sort of grip screws quite well. That's four. no use for this. Ah. I will, as I've just noticed, I have to just get a pair of pliers to, uh, yeah, now I've taken the screws out, these are are a bit springy so I'm guessing that's why they put two in each. I think they could have got away with just the one in each to be honest but you can't beat quality. Who is this made by? Doesn't say.
Yeah, there's an RS232 socket on this as well, whatever that's used for. I'm not au okay with anything like this. This is actually aching my wrist. I think next time, maybe when I put it together, I'll put a screwdriver bit in my cordless drill and do it that way. If I put it back together, I might not bother. Like I said, I've got no use for it. turn them so I can loosen them so I can't do it with my fingers. Oh, I'm doing one I don't need to because I can just unplug the cable. <laughs> right, there's four screws on the inside. I'll probably go through all this only to find that there's absolutely nothing on the underside. But it's worth a look. I've got the camera running and I've got the screwdriver in my hands, so no, absolutely nothing. So on the top here, that is exactly it. <laughs> that is it. Oh, I just kick over. I'm just gonna put the LEDs on that and light things up a little bit better. There's a sticker there, upside down. That's me holding the PCB upside down. much on this board is the I'm not sure of these caps pretty certain they're a type of cap some it's all surface mount none of it's through hole well I think the um sockets here are from the look of it yeah they're through hole but uh all the little electronic doodads, all the resistors and capacitors and diodes and whatnot are all um, surface except one and that's that big silver one here yeah the rest is all surface and it's a double sided board as well right so we've got that one this one out. Just empty the whole chassis. So it's a good chassis. Get rid of that. Whoop. Yeah, there's the um what was it? RS two three two socket. Might be handy to keep it. There's nothing on it aside from a chip. Three, four capac, five capacitors, five little surface mount capacitors on there, and that is it. Uh, C1 right down by the socket for the wire. Uh, then it's C2, C3, C4 in the middle for some reason, <laughs> and C5 down there. They've labelled that an ass about face way. I wonder if 1, 2 and 3 are the same rating, if that's why they labelled them like that. Possibly. Right. One last section, and that's the front section, so I've got six screws. One. I'll do this, and then I'll find it just unscrews the metal cover. me. Where is it? It's there somewhere. It's 
I think I found it. I stuck the Freeview sticker right over it. There we go. Throw it around, you know. If it did work, it probably doesn't now. Yep, this just takes off the metal cover. do it. No. <laughs> How on? Can I get in there like this? Yes. I bet they had a long screwdriver that went from the back through here then into the board. Or to get or to the screws I should say. I shouldn't think they did it at an angle like I am. It's working, but putting it together like that would have been awkward. Top ones are fine. There's not a lot in it, but there's a lot of screws. So can't complain about the build quality. Right, so there's the chassis. It's actually a well-made chassis, really. All right. Yeah, again, there's not a lot on this. There's uh, five buttons, five LEDs, capacitor thingy there, a couple of surface mount resistors I can see. Something labelled RN1. I'm not sure what that is. There's a momentary switches. Oh, and the um, infrared sensor is there, so I was right. I should have a remote with it. Yeah, but again, there's nothing on it. Yeah, that's double sided as well. I thought there would have been more inside this than what I've found. <laughs> Very large case as well for um, not a lot of stuff. They could have uh, possibly saved on a bit of manufacturing if they... Um, well, I don't know though. That didn't need to be as deep... You know, they could have uh, cut a bit off that way and shrunk it a little bit. That might have been a bit cheaper. They, you know, they didn't need it. Yeah, they could. They could have cut off a bit from the, from the actual depth or width. But, uh, yeah. There's a lot of um, a lot of surface mount diddly little resistors and capacitors on here. Can't see anything else. Some ICs of some description, but I can't actually see the um, data written on the top. I don't think my magnifying glass is at hand. It's not very heavy either. Oh, excuse me. Anyway, it's a little bit, uh, eh, really, isn't it? <laughs> there's the panel. That's actually quite heavy, to be honest. For a little metal plate, there's a fair bit of weight in that. Oddly, I didn't think that can't see no reason why it's just a cover that screws to the front you know there's no reason for it to be made out of something that heavy but never mind 
that's it for the video so thanks a lot for watching if you've got any questions I can uh, do my best to answer if you want to know what those little ICs are or the cut numbers on them I'm more than happy to dig my magnifying glass out and answer the answer your questions in the comments so uh, yeah thanks a lot for watching and uh, I'll talk to you again soon bye